Hey guys, it's Gabby. Today we're gonna be trying out OPI's Summer Make the Rules collection. And normally I don't do swatching reviews, but I received this collection in PR and I was so excited about the colors that I had to. So getting right into it, this is Bikini Boardroom. This is described as a pearl lavender shade. And since it has that frosty pearl finish, it is a little bit more difficult to work with. So here I'm kind of going over it a few times to try to get rid of some of those streaks. And I did the best that I could, but honestly, you're gonna have some streaks. So if you don't like that, you may not like this shade. But I actually love this color. This isn't something I would usually go for, but this is probably one of my favorites in the collection. It was completely opaque in two coats and just a really pretty color. So that is Bikini Boardroom. The next shade is Make Outside, and this is your classic hot pink color. I do have to say though, my camera struggled so much throughout this video just to capture how bright these colors are, especially as we get into the more neon ones. They just, they're so much brighter off camera, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of what the colors look like. This one was a little bit thinner, so I ended up doing three coats, which isn't my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, especially when it comes to nail art, I don't like three coaters. But if you love the shade, I think it's worth it. It's really a personal preference. It applied smoothly. I didn't have any issues with the formula, but again, it was three coats. Next up is I Quit My Day Job. This is the Bubblegum Neon Pink, so if you're looking for one, I actually really like this one. I was able to get it in two coats, which I was really excited about. I've actually already used this in a nail art look in my previous video, and I think it works well for that, and it's just like a good go-to bright summer color. The next color is Flex on the Beach. This is a really bright coral shade, and I was able to get this one in two coats too, which is really gonna vary based on how you apply it, how long your nails are, and things like that. But keep in mind also with just any kind of really bright neon shade, those typically are more coats. And I don't know why, I don't know the details behind it, but I just find with neons, I guess they're harder to formulate in general. So that's why I wasn't too surprised or picky when it came to the amount of coats. But if you're someone who's like, I don't wanna do three coats, then this collection, some colors might not be for you and that's okay. But either way, really like the shade, another bright summer color. Next up, we have Sanding in Stilettos, which I love this name, this might be my favorite name. And on the website, this is described as a pearl nude, which this, this is peach, so I don't really know where they got that from. But either way, again, because it has that frosty pearl finish, you are gonna have to really work with this formula. And this was a true three-coater on me. I don't even know. I guess maybe, if you have really short nails, you may be able to get away with two coats. But for most people, this will be a three coater, maybe even a four coater. And overall, the shade, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but you know, if you like it, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you, but that is three coats of sanding and stilettos. Still the best name. Next up, we have Stay Out All Bright. And this one, it's okay. To be fair, this is probably one of the hardest colors to formulate because not only is it super bright neon, but it's also yellow, which makes it even harder. So this was definitely a really thin formula. It ended up being three coats, but I could have almost used a fourth. And that's where I draw the line. I'm not doing four coats unless it's like the most beautiful color I've ever seen in my life to the point where I wanna cry. That's the only time I'm really gonna constantly use a four coater. Also, this is definitely a color that will stain because I didn't have it on for that long and it was trying to already stain my nail. So if you decide to get this, make sure you're using a base coat and have time to let your nails dry because you're gonna have a lot of coats to do. <laughs> Next up is Sunscreening My Calls. This is a pearl yellow shade. Again, you're gonna have to work with the formula a little bit, but you get used to it, especially as you go. It gets a little bit easier as long as you're okay with a few streaks. Also, I wanna know your thoughts on these pearl polishes in general, because I know this isn't gonna be for everybody, but I really like the concept that they did here, having the mixture of the pearl polishes mixed with the cream polishes, especially because I know these were more popular when I was younger. So you know how fashion trends kind of repeat themselves? I like that they're bringing it back to match the fashion trends going on. I hope that makes sense to somebody, but I think it's cute and a fun idea. 
Next up, we have Summer, Monday to Fridays, and I really like the shade. It is a three-coater because it's really bright, so it is gonna have that thinner formula, but I really like using pastel lime green in the spring, so having a neon version of it for summer is perfect. I've already used this in nail art, so even though I prefer a two or a one-coater especially, it's sometimes I'll let it happen, sometimes. Next up, we have Surf Naked. I love the shade, it's a really pretty pearl blue, and it was completely opaque in two coats, so really great with that. And something I just realized, I'm not completely sure, but with all the pearl shades in this collection, they might have been going for that white chrome look, because that's been really trendy, where you have a color and then you brush on the white chrome on top. I'll try to insert pictures, but it gives that same look, but just with normal nail polish instead. So again, not sure if that's what they were going for, but if so, that was smart. Next we have I'm Yacht Leaving. You guys, this is probably another favorite in the collection. I have for years absolutely loved the bright turquoise shades. It's just, I don't know. It's a summer staple. If you, this is, I love this. I love this, that's all I have to say. It was two coats. I was really happy with the formula. I have no complaints here. And the name's good. Next we have Charge It To Their Room, another really pretty color. This is a periwinkle blue, and even though it's a cream, it still has that kind of neon formula, which I don't know how to explain it, but it's a little bit thinner, but it was still completely opaque in two coats. I think this one, yeah, this one, if you have shorter nails, you may be able to get away with one coat, maybe. Don't hold me to that, it really depends on a lot of things, but there is a chance, so I'm gonna just throw that out there. Lastly, we have Skate to the Party. This is a really pretty color too. I've actually already used this for a few nail art looks. And again, it does have that thinner formula, but I was able to get it completely opaque in two coats. And it's just a really, it's just a nice purple. I like it, it's light, but it's not too light to where it's pastel. It's like a good in-between purple that I feel like you can use for a lot of different things. So my thoughts on the collection, there are definitely some shades that I absolutely love that you're gonna be seeing again. Some I've already used in nail art. But there's also some shades that I'm like, eh, I don't see myself using again, honestly, especially because they just took too many coats. Overall, I really like the color scheme. I like the cream mixed with the pearl finishes, but I wanna know your thoughts. Have you tried the collection? Which shades you would get? Which ones aren't your favorite? And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.